What's going on, everybody? Slice out from MaddenDilly.com, and here is our top five new defensive features and additions added to Madden 16. Now, in Madden 15, there was a ton of problems on the defensive side of the ball, and they patched it up pretty well with this Madden 16 game. Coming in at number five is going to be the new additions added to the defensive back interactions with the receivers. They added hundreds of new receiver to defender interaction animations, including new press interactions. And that's what we're focusing on now. Uh, we feel like man defense, especially press defense, is going to be much better than previous years. Um, you also have zone chuck interactions when you're in a cover two or cover three zone or any type of zone. The linebackers will chuck the slot receivers before going out in coverage. Um, there's also going to be a lot of hand fighting during route running. So as we transition into some Madden 15 gameplay footage, you're going to see how easy Chris Matthews on the left beats the Rel Revis on this slant route. First of all, he gets off the bump really quickly and gets inside position. No real hand fighting displayed. And also it's the same press animation that always happens. Matthews just beat the press so easily and that's so unrealistic. Luckily, this is not going to happen in Madden 16. Revis on Matthews, he's going to get a much better press. And then also he will not get this much separation on certain routes like slants. And what's great is, say you know your opponent's doing an out route, you could actually assign the corner to play outside, but not, not like last year, which you could do that last year. In 16, if you tell your corner to play the outside cushion, he'll actually move a little bit to the outside to ensure a simple out route like this to Chris Matthews against Darrell Rivas will not happen. Coming in at number four is going to be the additions and changes to the QB spy. According to EA, you could no longer swerve or glitch the QB spy. If you try to go out and then in, like I'm showing you in Madden 15 footage, you're going to see that the left of screen defensive end that's in a spy is just going to watch Russell Wilson run to the right. They fixed it a little bit, honestly, for Madden 15. In Madden uh, 25 for 360 and Xbox One, it was a lot worse, but now they completely patched it, so that's one thing that's great, but that is not why this QB Spy Edition is making the top four for gameplay features and additions for Madden 16. The reason why we're bringing QB Spy into the mix is because you could now, when spying the defender, no matter if it's a lineman or a linebacker or a corner or a safety, when you put someone in the QB Spy, after the ball is hiked at any time, you could actually blitz the QB spy. And all you have to do to do that is hold the right stick down after the ball is hiked. And why is this such a good feature? Well, think about it. One thing that you could do, just using your mind, is blitz both defensive ends on the outsides, put both defensive tackles and spies. Um, say you're expecting a short pass to the middle, maybe a drag route. Once the spies guard the drags and the drags clear them, you can now blitz them and instead of just blitzing two guys on the outside, you'll have a delayed four-man rush. And that's only one way to utilize this feature. Now coming in at number three is the changes to tackling in Madden 16. Especially the fact that there's going to be no more warp tackling. And if there is suction or warp tackling, it's going to be reduced tremendously. You're no longer going to break to the outside with the running back. And thinking you're open only for a defender to click on and spam the A or X button to get a cheesy tackle. Madden 16 also improved gang tackling. Now let's move on to number two, which we're going to go back to DB interactions, but we're going to focus on the play ball and play receiver options that we could use when clicking on our defensive backs. If you have a playmaker on your secondary, like Patrick Peterson, Antonio Cromartie, you could go and hold Y, which is the play ball. It's also ball hawk um, from past Maddens. And that's going to go for a spectacular, aggressive catch on defense. However, if say you have Darrell Revis or you have a smaller corner or say you're in zone or you're controlling the safety and they throw the ball up or they throw a post route or something, you could click on and play the receiver instead of the ball and go for the hit instead of the ball and get the pick. Pass incompletions and deflections will be at a much higher rate when playing the receiver instead of playing the ball. And interceptions are probably going to be limited when playing the receiver. However, as long as you don't have a corner, mind you, this is the best corner in the game as you've seen in the footage from Madden 15, Darrell Revis, not even reacting to Chris Matthews on the face catch. 
face catches are going to be toned down completely as per what EA Sports has said. Um, rocket catches are going to be toned down if not gone. The interactions are going to be real. You're not going to be in a two-man under and Chris Matthews just quickly beats off the press. As we mentioned in number, in number two for this video, Revis is going to have way better press animation on that. But here in double coverage, our free safety doesn't even react. Just goes right past the receiver. This is Madden 15. This is why face catching was so OP'd. But in Madden 16, yeah, the tall receivers, the playmakers will make these catches on one-on-one -on -one sometimes against smaller corners. But at, at least the corner or the safety, they're going to react. And they're going to fight for it. If you play the ball, they're going to jump up. If you play the receiver, they are going to try to knock that ball out. Especially if it's double coverage, that's actually going to mean something in Madden 16. And now here is our favorite new addition and feature on the defensive side of the ball for Madden 16, and that's the quick defensive adjustments. This is the greatest feature that they put in for a long time for the advanced Madden players like us and a lot of our viewers. So now say you're playing someone you're in two men under, there are going to be times where you need to make key adjustments. Same thing no matter what defense you're in, say you're in cover two, you might have to put the outside corner in a hook zone to play deeper, or maybe you man him up and then take the free safety and play the seams. No matter what, on every play, you're making adjustments. Whether you're setting up a blitz, you're setting up a coverage, you're setting up a run defense. If you're an advanced player and you're playing against someone really good with a high octane offense, you have to make adjustments. Now what they added in Madden 16 is amazing. You don't have to click on the corner or the safety or the lineman to make adjustments. You could stay on one guy. For example, the middle linebacker, you could then put your corner in a flat, man up to free safety. You could do all of this without ever getting off the middle linebacker. So you could stay on one person the whole time and make as many adjustments as you want. And you should be able to do this at a much quicker pace. So getting quick hike should no longer be an option. So as long as you practice your setups, adjustments, coverages, blitzes, everything beforehand in practice mode or whatever, you should be fine coming into a game. Here's Madden 16. You see that on the bottom right to select receiver and then you have all of the secondary. Even though we're on the left of the screen defensive end, we can make adjustments to them. And it's not just the secondary, you can make adjustments to the defensive line. You can put someone in a spy, someone in a hook zone. You can put the right of screen linebacker in a flat zone. And this is all done without toggling through your players. You can stay on one player and make all the adjustments you want pre-snap. We feel like these were the key five top new defensive changes, additions, and features added to Madden 16. Let us know in the comments below if there was anything that we missed for Madden 16 that should be on this list. Also, out of the five, what is your favorite that was added to Madden 16? There was also some additional improvements on the defensive side of the ball that we did not include. Uh, one being contained defenses and logic have improved to help counter the new rollout and scramble mechanics. You also could no longer flip the play when breaking the huddle to speed up the quick hiking process. You cannot have out of position subs causing exploitable routes, aka route pulling. That's no longer, you're no longer able to do that. Um, a lot of the nano blitzes from Madden 15 have been removed. PA end around has been addressed. And finally, a variety of money plays have been revised or altered. Me personally, I rather them, instead of just removing the plays itself, actually fix them. But as long as you could be creative and diverse with each team playbook, that's all I really care about. But yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the top five new defensive features in Madden 16. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button if you're excited for Madden 16. If we get 150 likes, we'll do the top five new offensive features tomorrow. Hopefully I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Until next time, it's lights out from maddendaily.com. Later.